Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy Jazz. Welcome back to another Madden 18 video. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your day. Today, we have some new legends that were released today. Three new legends, which include Herschel Walker, Willie McGinnis, and Walter Jones. So, uh, throughout the Ultimate Legend program, They've been alternating the third limited edition offense, defense, offense, defense. But for the first time, uh, they went ahead and dropped back to back of the same uh, on the same side of the ball. Last week we had Randall McDaniel. This week we had Herschel Walker. So uh, they didn't give us a defensive uh, limited this week, unfortunately. Uh, so we are going to uh, take a look at them right now definitely was uh, looking for a defensive limited see who it was they were going to drop but they drop a uh, offensive one so uh, let's go on ahead and uh, hit the auction house and see what they are looking like uh, I don't think I'm picking up picking up anybody today though I don't think so unless uh, one of them stands out but I don't think so let's go to uh, let's start with Walter Jones left tackle and he is going for a little less than 600k right now <coughs> excuse me we're going to compare him to our andrew whitworth and both of them look you know both of them are very good both of them have secure pass protector but whitworth does have that uh second chemistry of pound the rock which walter jones isn't going to have um, if I went with Pound the Rock or Go Deep or whichever chemistry I decide to go with. Both of them have 97 strength. Walter Jones does have 92 run block, though, and 96 pass block. So that means I would be able to get 99 on both run block and pass block with him. If I just went Go Deep, I'm going to be able to max out uh, his pass blocking to uh, 99. And uh, Coach Madden Tier 2 gives you plus plus one run block so that's going to boost that up to 99 so you would have 99 on both 95 impact block 96 awareness 95 stamina 71 speed 80 uh excuse me 70 agility the card looks good very 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 good but very similar to that of andrew whitworth uh not really sure why walter jones have has more cap when uh andrew whitworth has uh well, I, I guess he's Walter Jones is a lot more balanced since Whitworth has uh, only 92 run block but 98 pass block, where Walter Jones has 98 and 96. So I can see it. But again, Whitworth does have that second chemistry, which is going to help us out with uh, getting a little bit more of uh, pound the rock done, which is pretty glitchy. If I can get you know a, a tier two or tier three of that one by just plucking a few pound the rocks here and there walter jones looks good but you know we will be staying with uh, andrew whitworth there all right now let's go ahead and take a look at the left outside linebacker and herschel no not herschel walker willie mcginnis so willie mcginnis looks good as we get a phone call here though looks good because he has secure tackler which is definitely the uh defensive chemistry you want the more secure tacklers you have on the field the better just the more all around um less broken tackles you're gonna have to deal with and uh that's always the idea you want on the field is that chemistry <laughs> so uh that's a good start for him we have uh, a handful of left outside linebackers and our starter is Von Miller. We take a look at McGinnis compared to Von. And McGinnis does have uh, 89 speed. So both speeds are the same. He has a little bit more uh, strength. Tackle is 94. That's going to go to Von Miller with plus one. But again, McGinnis has secure tackler. So he's going to have the edge on that. Uh, 94 block shed, which you can get to 99 if we go with physical front. 96 power move which is going to uh actually go up to 98 
uh, with uh, Jarrell Casey with the plus two motivators and um, 94 finesse move and 91 hit power. So uh, the card looks really, really, really good. Let's take a look at his zone coverage. We actually might pick this card up. Let's go ahead and see what he is in coverage. 90 zone coverage. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm out here dying on video. I see you, McGinnis. I see you. 90 zone coverage. So with Tyron Matthew, it's going to be over 91. So that's definitely good. Um, I actually might pick him up. He might replace uh, Haley for me. You know, Haley is more of a, a guy that I would plug in in certain, you know, situations. Uh, Von Miller is obviously my pass rusher guy. He's just a monster. But uh, Haley has jumped the snap. McGinnis has secure tackler. Uh, even though you could take a look. And it's crazy how the card on the left is a 98. And the card on the right is a 97. Right? Wouldn't you think that Haley having more hit power, power move, block shed, tackle, strength would be uh, the higher card? And the, the one thing that Willie McGinnis has more of... It's only plus one. But, um, again, secure tackle. I, I might pick him up. I don't think he'll start for me, though, because Von Miller is really, really, really good on top of him having plus two block shed to everybody on the team. But um, I could see me using McGinnis in certain situations. And, again, he does have secure tackler, which is pretty good, which is very good, actually. Uh, really, really, really amazing. So we, we might pick him up. Not sure. We might, though. Last but not least, we have the limited card, which came out today, which is Herschel Walker. And he is going for right here. It's going for less than 500K right now. Well, only one card. He's going for about 500, you can say. Let's take a look at him and see what he's working with. So he has 96 speed, 96 agility, 97 acceleration, 90. 4 carry, 88 spin move, 93 elusiveness, 94 truck, 93 juking. So this is the issue I have with this card. <coughs> when his first Ultimate Legend drop, I mean his first Legend, I think the 93 overall one, I think he was the fastest card in the game, right? I think he had like 93, 94 speed when he dropped or something like that. Like when his card dropped, he was fast. You know, he was one of the fastest cards in the game. So when his next card drop, you would figure it would be like the same thing, and it's not. And spin move is what you want in Madden at this point in time. Because juking has been severely nerfed, but spinning is still the most OP ball carrier move in the game. It's how you get around people. You have to spin, 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 spin. Trucking doesn't really do too much because a lot of people have secure tacklers. There's Sean Taylors and Night Train Lanes and uh, Mel Blunts all over the field. And uh, running over somebody it doesn't happen often. It happens, but it doesn't happen often. And I wouldn't really recommend going for uh, somebody with high trucking. In my opinion, you want speed and you want spinning. His spin move is very bad at 88. His speed at 96 is definitely good. Definitely good. But there's faster backs out there. I would 100% would rather go with Chris Johnson over Herschel Walker. I'm not sure what Chris Johnson's price is looking like. Oh, he's cheaper. He's cheaper. A lot cheaper. Unless you're a big Cowboys fan, in my humble opinion, should be no reason you get this card over Chris Johnson because his spin move is a lot higher. His speed is higher. His elusiveness is higher. And uh, he just doesn't truck as good as Herschel Walker. But again... Uh, trucking has just been taken out of the game pretty much by secure tackler, which which sucks. Cause it's fun running people over. <coughs> when uh, the first uh, Bettis came out, we're, we'll open up a few packs. When the first Bettis came out, it was fun. It was fun because I was actually able to run people over because there was no secure tacklers out then. Then the more secure tacklers that came out, the more... Um, frustrating it was using a guy who had uh, speed. We'll just remove some of these guys here. 
I, I remember running people over with the bus. It was fun. I looked forward to it. But now, like I said, you can't do it because secure tackle is all over the place. We'll open up, uh, let's go with two. Let's go with two Legend Fantasy Packs. That's how we'll end the video. So, uh, I highly doubt we'll be picking anybody up. Unless we go with uh, McGinnis, which I doubt. But he's the only one that has a chance. Okay, we got one elite here. And full legend Ronde Barber. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Not sure how much he's going for. I don't know if we made our coins back on that. But um, if he's less than 90k, probably not too much under, right? All right. Let's see what it is we get here. A bunch of silvers. Okay, we got we got a gold here. I mean, we got a gold. Of course, we got a gold. We got an elite here, and we end with ultimate legend ninety three. Okay, so we definitely made more coins on that. That's a pretty good one. That should be a hundred and twenty plus or something like that. That warrants another pack. We're in the plus so far. Full legend and ultimate legend. That's a good pack. This is where the pack luck ends and we stop opening them because we're gonna get Yep, number silver's here. That's not that's not a good sign. We want happy smiles though. <coughs> and okay, we got an elite in the second round here. Another ultimate legend or full legend. Oh man, I gotta see which one goes for more. I think they're trying to get me back in the packs, y'all. What do you what do you think? Alright, let me just take a look here and see which one is uh, going for more. That right there is the toughness version of him. So we just want to make the right decision here. And that Marvin Harrison is going for 75k. And Warren Moon, 90 overall, Ultimate Legend, is going for 38k, which is a lot less. <laughs> so we'll go with Marvin Harrison. So even though we lost out on coins that pack, wasn't by too much. And we actually might, you know, be close to it once we sell all those silvers since silver skyrocketed. Okay, that warranted another pack. You know, so far we're doing pretty well. Few full legends on top of uh, ultimate legends we're getting. Okay. A 92 overall ultimate legend, Willie McGinnis. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, we're definitely going to... Well, I got to see some of these replay cards are going for a decent amount. So you just, you just want to double check. Just want to double check. This Kenny Stills is going for 50k. I highly doubt this Willie McGinnis is going for less than that. <coughs> Excuse me. I think we made more on that pack. We'll open up another one. We'll open up another one. We're damn near about to spend a million coins on these packs, <laughs> but we're getting good pulls. Okay. Two elites right here. That's good. And okay, this is where it ends. <laughs> This is where it ends. This is where the luck ends. We'll end it off with one last one. Because we're not, you know, just one bad pack out of like five, you know, pretty good packs. This is the last one for sure, for sure. Unless, again, we get something amazing and it warrants us getting, you know, wanting to open the last two. Okay, two more elites right there. And, yeah, okay, that was definitely the last one. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It's your boy GS man. We're, we got to go on ahead and uh, get rid of one card. That way we can be under the 1700 item binder limit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. We're going to go on ahead and be signing out. Let me know what you guys think of the new legends down below. Until next time. Peace.